he is doing. All of this technology is, is obsolete. He is on this particular mad quest called progress. Progress is insanity. Progress is a psychosis. Process, progress is a neurosis. It is a necessity because that's how he has to keep up with keeping you down. The artificial intelligence was, dependent, intelligence was dependent on solar light to survive. Humanity blackened the sky to destroy them, but these things survived. Morpheus says that throughout the 20th century, man has been dependent on machines, and he said the funny thing and the most ironic thing now is that the tables have turned because the machines are now dependent on man. They grow man like a crop. Frankenstein got out the lair, got out the lab to terrorize its creator, just as God terrorizes man. Why did I say that? God terrorizes man, its creator. Think what I just said. <laughs> Think about it. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Because you didn't get that. I didn't, think, I didn't think you got that. All right. Frankenstein got out the lab. All right? And destroyed, to terrorize and destroy its own creator. Just as God now got out the lab of man's mind to terrorize him. Right? Now, how did the artificial intelligence survive? The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120 volt battery and over 2,000 BTUs, that's British thermal units of body heat. Combined with a form of fusion, these machines found all the energy they could ever need generated by the cellular sons of man. Ooh, what did I just say? <laughs> I just said something in that last sentence that just went right over your head. The sons of man. Oh, holy hallelujah. Woo! Come on and tell me, Jesus. I just gave you a clue. The sons of man. The sons of man are the cells. Now, check this out. They now found out that that one unit called the cell is so intricate and dynamic that it has thousands of layers that they have not yet understood in one single cell. They said it is a construct that cannot be fragmented and broken down and understood. This is the single cell. The cell is a sun in miniature, just like there are life forms on what you call your sun right now. The life form called the cell has thousands of intricate other life forms that constitute its own construction. So the sons of man are your cells, because the cells are what need to be reprogrammed through the chromosomes, through the genes, in order for you to escape the present envelope of perception that you're in. You are trapped in this seal. You are sealed shut inside of this. And it is the cells that awaken and change the valence, change the frequency dynamic, change the oscillation, change the dynamic so that you don't even know what you're going to look like in the new paradigm. Because even if you could project yourself there, which you can't because you're living under a light code lockdown anyway, you can't know what this is going to look like because the next paradigm, you can't take this beat up piece of shit there. You got to rethink the vehicle. You got to get out of that 1929 bug and get into a 1999,000, you know, Rolls Royce or some other shit like that. You got to go from running around in a go-kart and get into a rocket. Now, you know you can't get to the velocity in, in a push cart. Because this is what you're walking around in right now, a beat-up push cart. The body that you have, the cellular agreement, the agreement to have fingers, the agreement to have eyes, the agreement to have teeth, all of these are agreements that have you functioning in the area of the agreement. This is where the contract is for. This is the three-dimensional third-density contract area. This is where your body signed in to function. So it needed these things. You don't need it where you're going. 
Because the cells have a whole other arrangement for the kind of consciousness that you must have in your body at the time when you're functioning on other dimensions. You can't take this vessel there. You got to completely break it down and reassemble it to a whole other agreement. <laughs> now will you notice how they're playing your head because it's really happening when they were feeding the children what did they feed the children what was the liquid made of other humans right it was liquefied humans and what was terrorizing Morpheus was the efficiency with which they did it. Nothing was wasted. Nothing was wasted. The efficiency with which they're keeping you locked down right now is so... I mean, if you could look above all this shit and see how we're scurrying around in a maze like rats. Going to work, that's what I'm saying. Sister, I said that the last time. 66 trillion years of evolution and consciousness, and all you got to show for it is a nine to five fucking job. Could you imagine? You are a composite of God's own involutionary experience of itself, and you're going to work for a job to do what? To do what? What the fuck are you doing? Look out there, you out of your... You're going crazy. You're going to work for a job? And you guards walking around? Y'all need to read, and or you need to check the movie Soylent Green. That's an oldie but goodie with, with Charlton Heston. Morpheus says to Neo, after he sees the truth, that they have a rule. What's the rule? No. No, no, no. Morpheus told Neo that he has a rule. After a certain age, they never wake him up because it's too damn dangerous. No, yeah, no, no, no. They can't handle it. Walk into there when you see any good Christian pounding that Bible talking about he knows Jesus. Then pull the plug on his shit and nope, waking him up. He would bug. He would literally bug if he knew what the truth was. He feels comfortable in that zone that he's been put in. Believing that Jesus Christ is going to come and take his sorry ass out of his misery like he got some kind of investment. And then these people on that television telling them, you got an investment in heaven right now. Just send them dollars and you'll know. I got a place for you in heaven. And these dumb dumbass people really believe that they can pay their way into heaven. Creflo dollar. Now that's a nigga for you. Creflo fucking dollar. Now if you don't get that shit now, a nigga with a name like dollar, then he's a preacher. Churches. Creflo Dollar. What was his mother thinking about? God damn. No questions now. We're going to get a question. Morpheus says to Neo after he sees the truth, they have a rule and never free your mind after a certain age because you have a hard time letting go. It's dangerous. Morpheus says that he freed Neo because he believed that Neo was the reincarnation of a man that was born in the Matrix a long time ago, who freed Morpheus and, excuse me, many of the others. As long as the Matrix exists, that is the illusion, the human race will never be free. After he died, the Oracle prophesied his return. Now, did you get a look at the Oracle? Yeah. 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 Now, what was this white boy thinking about when he wrote this? When Dan went into the projects to find an oracle, doing what? Cooking. Cooking. Can't get a woman to cook no time, nowhere, today. But they're telling you that...
that mama was in the cook and cookies and didn't give a shit about whether you knew it or not. Would you like a cookie? I love it. I like her acting style. But the thing was missing was they switched it from the cigar to the cigarette. Mama was supposed to have the, 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 the Oracle smoke the cigarette, the cigar, because the cigar was a leg bar and it was the opener of the way. That was the way. And they took the cigarette and put the cigarette in the hand, which is the symbol of the white man. You see? Because right away, the power would have been in that black man's hands. He would have been the one, okay, 